In this video, we'll discuss the nature of roots for two equations. And in a previous video, we have learned what the nature of roots are. But here is a quick recap. We can discuss the values of x without finding for x. That is what it means to discuss the nature of roots. And we used an application of the quadratic formula. So we used b squared minus 4ac, which is a square root in the quadratic formula. This is called the discriminant. And when that delta value or discriminant is smaller than zero, we said the roots are non-real. When we found that delta was equal to zero, we say that we have one root or equal roots. And when delta is bigger than zero, we had two possible explanations. So the roots would be real, but if delta was a perfect square, we said that the roots are real and rational. And if delta was just a positive number, meaning bigger than zero, we said that the roots are real and irrational. So let us use this guide to discuss the nature of roots for these two equations. First, we have 5x squared minus 7x minus 4. So we can identify our discriminant as b squared minus 4ac, where a is the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of x, and c is the constant value. So b squared would be negative 7 squared minus 4 times 5 times negative 4. And that is equal to 129. So the discriminant is bigger than 0. So it is not smaller than 0, and it's not equal to 0, but it's bigger than 0. So we know that the roots of this equation are real. Also, it's not a perfect square, but it is positive. So the roots of this equation are real and irrational values. In our second example, we have 2x squared plus 3x plus 11. So our discriminant is, again, b squared minus 4ac, where b squared is 3 squared minus 4 times 2 times 11. Now the answer is equals to negative 79. So, the discriminant is negative. Therefore, the roots are non-real. What it means is, if we plot this expression as a parabola, then it will not intersect with the x-axis. So, the roots do not exist on the x-axis.